One of the essential tools in my editing toolkit is Dropbox. Now, I'm absolutely not sponsored by the company at all, but it's something that I use every single day, and I want to talk a little bit about why it's become such an important part of my editing process. So every project file that I have for Adobe Premiere is stored in Dropbox. The reason for that is that as soon as I create it, every change that I make, every time that I save, even all my autosave files are right away in Dropbox, and that means that they're being backed up to the cloud somewhere. I have version history because Dropbox provides version history. They also provide backup for even deleted files. If I delete a project file, it's available via Dropbox for up to 30 days afterwards if I make a mistake and need to go and get that file back. Having all my project files in Dropbox also means that I can move between machines, move between computers. I could definitely stand to go through and do some cleanup of how many projects I've got in this folder, but I absolutely recommend this for any editor because this is just a really easy way to have backups. I have local backups too. I also back up to other cloud services, but those aren't to the second. Like literally as I'm making changes, they're being saved to Dropbox, going right up to the cloud. And you really need that kind of protection when you're working on important projects on things that you can't afford to lose. The second thing that's part of my Dropbox workflow is storing all of my exports from my projects in a Dropbox folder. So my system used to be that I would have a working folder on one of my external SSDs and all the exports, all the versions of a project would just go in the same folder as all the project files. But now that I'm part of a bigger team and I need to be sending these files around for people who are downloading them, taking them to conferences, taking them to presentations, people need that direct access to the file and Dropbox makes it so easy to share. I can take any of these files, I right click, I say, copy the Dropbox link, and that link to the file is on my clipboard. I can send it an email, send it a message. And so storing all my exported files in Dropbox has made my life just a lot easier. There have been times where somebody will text me and say, hey, I really need this file like right now. And just from my phone, I can go in, create a shareable link and share it to them right there. Now, this is something that I have gone through and cleaned out though. Um, I still keep the exports on Dropbox, but not all of them are synced to my computer. I try to keep just the past couple of months synced to my computer directly, and then I have an archive of stuff on Dropbox that's still just as shareable from the web interface, but it's not taking up space on my hard drive because, you know, exports take up a lot of space. Another advantage of me having all of my final exports already in Dropbox is that Dropbox plugs in directly to Vimeo and to our digital asset management system that I use for my day job. The time that that saves me is once I finish a video, I can just upload it directly to Dropbox and then import it to Vimeo, import it to our asset management system, and I don't have to go through the waiting process to upload that file three separate times. Once it's in Dropbox, it can just go directly to those two places, and I don't have to wait on it physically uploading to each of those. And finally, where Dropbox really runs my life is that it has all of my visual effects assets, sound effects assets, stock music, graphics, logos, everything for my day job in terms of fonts and branding. Again, for easy access and easy sharing, but it's also nice to know that those things are backed up directly to the cloud as well, because I want these on my hard drive. I don't want to be just sorting through different hard drives, trying to find different visual effects assets. And then when I go to reconnect a project a couple weeks later, I say, oh no, that one's on this hard drive. And so I've got four hard drives plugged in just to maybe change a title. I wanna have all of those. I mean, you can tell again, I need to do some cleaning out, but I've got all of those just living in my Dropbox. Now Dropbox did come out with a cool feature that lets you decide which files are gonna be local and on your hard drive and which files are going to like show that they're in the folder on your hard drive, but not actually be stored there. They're stored in the cloud and you have to download and sync them. The nice thing about that is that there's some stuff that I use on a daily or a weekly basis, such as, Blue Transition number two, which I use in every project, have used that thing to death. But there's some music and stuff from projects that are maybe a year old that I don't know if I'll get around to using again in the near term. And so Dropbox goes ahead and it just says, all right, we'll show you that the file's there so you can remember that it's there, but it's not gonna take up hard drive space. And if you need it, all you have to do is sync it from the cloud. So that's that. Um, I'm absolutely not sponsored by Dropbox. I pay out of my own pocket for Dropbox Pro. If you use the link to sign up in the description, that'll give you a couple extra gigabytes, gives me a couple extra gigabytes, and we all know we can probably find a use for a couple of extra gigabytes. All right, Drew, do your magic.